Today, we cut the roof off the 280. Just when you say it's all too much, you gotta get it. The things right. we do for you guys. <laughs> for interest. So why are we cutting off the 280Z's roof? Because we got a carbon fiber roof. For all those that have been emailing me about getting a uh, carbon fiber roof, you're probably like, finally. <laughs> yes, oh but my yeah, God. We had to do all the R&Ds. built like four roofs now. Two of them are trash. The other two we're gonna fix and sell as like discounted uh, outside if you want to paint the outside of your roof but you want the inside to be carbon. 280Z roof, 240, 260Z roof. Uh, production is now finally in full swing. We're gonna do the first five pre-orders. They're gonna be live on the website now. But we'll do a quick overview of the roof itself. It's, what was it, 3.8 pounds or something like that? 3.72 to be exact. Two pounds, which is nothing. Um, this is another one of the pre-production uh, roofs, but that's this is one that I'm happy with the outside of it, but I'm gonna keep it on my car. The actual production roofs are gonna have a layer of gel coat, so they're gonna be super shiny. I could just clear this one, but I'm gonna put it on my car and I'll clear it all later when I do the quarter panels, because it'll be a carbon roof to quarter panel and there'll be a seam and stuff like that, so I'll do all that later, so I'm not too worried about it. But outside's two by two twill, it's three layers, two layers of 3K carbon fiber, and then one layer of 12K, which is a little different than I made on that. That was four layers of 3K. So this is technically 6K thicker, if you're just going by the thickness. And then on the inside here, we have a satin finish, and we ran a carbon X, a plain weave 3K X through the center of it. Um, it's probably doing something for structural rigidity, but it's also just cool. It's kind of on brand. We put a lot of X's on stuff, so yeah. Yeah, this um, man secretly admires me. <laughs> it's not secret, bro. But um, yeah, so we're gonna walk you through how to bond one of our carbon fiber roofs to your Z, or um, this can really, if you buy one of our large carbon kits and you wanna make your own roof, you can follow these same steps on pretty much any car. Um, I'm gonna go, go over two different ways to bond it, but we're gonna do the same way we bonded the last one, but we're gonna be more in depth this time. So, let's get to it. Oh, where are my glasses at? Thank you. That's so cool. It's the little things that count. <laughs> Quick reminder, if you buy one of our DIY carbon kits on industrygarage.com, we're holding competition. At the end of January, we're gonna go through everyone's videos and photos that they send us and we're gonna pick uh, three people, first, second, and third place. Um, just whatever your crazy part or normal part, if it's finished very well, send us videos and photos of whatever you make with our kits, and we're gonna pick some winners, and we're gonna have some cool uh, stuff to give you guys. Just gonna go ahead and wing it. What is this? The first bubble wrap I've seen that just doesn't, I think I'm making this up. Ain't no bubble wrap safe for That's right. But, uh, it's the bullshit. Yeah, it's still some bullshit. Bing, bong. <laughs> this is the main reason we're doing this, because of this uh, sunroof. The glass itself already weighs 6.3 pounds, so we're no, we're saving weight. It's obviously heavier than a stock S30 roof because it's got the sunroof in it, 
But how much does sunroof weigh? The the glass itself is six pounds. Oh, you already got that on there. Yeah, the glass is on it with it. Yeah, so it's twenty one pounds. So we're saving what's the math? Seventeen pounds. Twenty one minus three. I'll take your word. Hey, and it's at the top of the car. Best place to save weight. Highest point, other than unsprung. I mean, than uh, on your wheels and like rotating mass. Let's just set it on there. I mentioned there are two main ways to bond the roof. Uh, the first would be the way that we are doing it. Basically leaving a one inch strip of metal and then uh, bonding the roof to that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it along this seam right here. Um, the second way you could do it is you could drill out, you can see like these spot welds. See them right there, these little circles. So you can drill those out um, and just do it along the actual roof. You can go all the way around along the drip rail and then back behind as well. And what that'll do is that'll take off all of this metal and then the these roofs are made to have the factory seam on them still, like the actual bonding point. So you could just bond it then to the inner structure. So you wouldn't have any of this metal. You technically save some more weight but it's a good bit of drilling out. Do you have to, um, I guess, cover up the bare metal, like paint it at all, or? Um, yes. What we're gonna do is actually grind the grind the edge of this and then cover it all in the epoxy that we're bonding it with. But if you had any like cuts or grind marks on like any of this inner structure, you want to at least spray it with uh, something like uh, self etching primer or. Self-etching primer. We put that on everything. But we're gonna make sure all of our bare metal is covered in the epoxy. That's why we're gonna squeeze it on there and then brush it on like we usually do to make sure everything's covered. We're gonna have to cut off this little edge because otherwise with this front lip and this back lip, it won't sit on here. See what I mean? It'll, it'll lip underneath the front, but then the back is a little too short because this is the same size as the stock roof. Where the one we made before was three millimeters wider, so it was made to sit over top of the roof. Um, so this still works perfectly like this. You just have to trim. I could leave the front and just trim the back or vice versa, or trim both. When you say trim, what are you trimming again? I'm trimming light right on, along this edge here. Oh, okay. Because this is the same size, so it's not yeah. gonna snap over top of it. See what I mean? And that's why you left the extra space on the original piece. Yeah. So the way we are actually gonna bond it is gonna be like a kind of hybrid of the two. I'm gonna end up taking this this metal back farther, maybe to like this this inner seam right here, and I'm gonna keep this back seam on this metal. I mean, <laughs> it's carbon. Um, we're essentially gonna set it so the back seam will be seen. So when you open the trunk and like, and also the trunk comes here, you can see inside there, you'll still see the carbon. Then we're gonna trim the front so the front can snap over top of it. Um, the windshield uh, comes over the front of this a little bit and covers all that so you won't see inside there anyways. Um, and then also up here, I'd have to pull off, I'd have to pull off all of the leather, the original leather from the interior and I really don't wanna do that. So. I cut across here, I can just bond to here. I'll have a slight seam across here, which I can just smooth and do a little bit of light body work and prime it, call it a day. The, yeah, and the windshield gasket will cover a little bit of it anyways. So, best of both worlds. I might even leave some of the drip rail stuff and like lap it on top. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to get in the way of uh, the chrome because I think I'm gonna put the chrome back on this one. I'll cut it off. Test fit. How many times are you supposed to measure again? Hmm? How many times are you supposed to measure again? 
Measure, I don't even know. Measure twice. Measure time. I never measure the first time, so that's why I definitely don't know. <laughs> Do first, cry later. <laughs> What was the piece you just took off? So that's the back section of front end. Oh, so it was like a little lip piece here. Yeah, so this can now replace that lip. I'm gonna grind this obviously so it doesn't have any uh, rust and stuff. Keeping this little this little tab will be nice because it, it helps hold the uh, the weather stripping on it here. So don't get any leaks. And then this bit is over there. And then since we have um, to trim this little thinner. This little. almost snaps right in the place. Yeah. And the front actually, uh, with some, the right setup and some clamps will be good. And then just do some body work to fill it in and then either spray these black or put a single piece of carbon over it or something like that. Right but the, I guess the easy way to fix that after you do body work is just do like a tape line when you paint it, depending on how much you yeah, want to Yeah, so you could black black this out if you want to do or you could do a fade black if you want to whatever that's the next thing i was wondering like how would they blend it into the oem car yeah so yeah you, so yeah people either do hard tape lines you could do a tape line like here if you wanted to and transition if you want to keep stock quarters or some people blend when we went to Ca uh when we went to canada there was a guy with the head they did a carbon roof on their s30 and they had blue and they like faded it in or something like that on the back. I'm not a big fan of like the fading over carbon, but some people like it. Our Zoidberg follower would uh, definitely approve of this. <laughs> Dr. Zoidberg. So I'll do a trimming in the corner. Looking pretty damn good. Probably just gonna cut on the edge here, leave all this metal and then just bond right to this. And then if I add a quarter panel on here, I'll show you on the side. So when I bond a, the, okay. So I'm gonna mark this line here where the roof ends. And then I'm gonna cut just the edge of this piece of metal right here so this can roll over it and then I'll leave all of this. And then when I bomb the quarter panel on, I'll leave, you know, another inch of metal here. So there's essentially like, you know, a four inch wide piece of metal that combines both of these. So they're both structurally sound together. And I might lay a piece of carbon in between them or just have like a little slight seam. You know. But another time. It's crazy how much stiffer the roof gets once you actually have it sitting on a frame. And then we got a nice carbon uh, headliner. Cool, and we got the leather here still. You don't have to do nothing different. This moment will make the OG so happy. What's that in your hand? self and primer. You said put that on everything. You watch all our videos, you know. Yeah, I had some rust back here, so scraped it off. Cover with some self etching primer. I'll scratch back off the section I'm gonna bond and I'm ready to start. Everyone's gonna ask the epoxy we're using. DP420, bro. We've already been over this, it's for Dave Pratt. 420 plays it, black edition. <laughs> but it comes already uh, already opened, kind of. It mixes itself in this labyrinth. It's like a wizard magician thing. Mm -hmm. And he's actually working these. This is a Norton brand uh, gun, but they work. You can put them in upside down. Did you look at that. It's almost a bit of. Yeah, dang. What did you one. say? <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was going to say. It's almost like you're what to put the. It's almost as if it was made for it. Almost. Um, so, we're ready to start bonding. I'm gonna go grab Ryan. We got an extra body around here. We can uh, get this stuff glued up there, brushed it on, all, all the metal, and then uh, bond that hood on and clamp it down. 
Man, the way that epoxy spreads on there is like blood dripping. What are you gonna use to spread it? Put your hands. Oh, you still got it. Yes. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Do you want to come behind me and uh, start crushing? Start crashing. It's like it went upwards when you put it on there because it's going through the. Yeah, this is a little definitely thinner than the uh, average bear. You want this little spot too, around here? Ah, uh, yes. Si, senor. Si. And if you guys don't remember this process, don't worry. We have a video. You're watching it. <laughs> right up here. <laughs> but also... We're watching correspondence with this one. Yeah, our, our OG. I feel like I'm back to my old shit right here. No, I was even thinking more recent. Doing the hood. Bonding. Oh, this is true. We've done this a bunch of times. So what's your work time with this? I'm unsure. I didn't read the label. We're reading that now. <clears throat> Ready, Sarah? Yeah. Want to flip it? Okay, there you go. I can't reach it that. All right. All right. Um, and line up the front. Do you need to clamp it or anything like that? Oh, buddy, do we need to clamp it? Get the clamps. Get the clamps. Give him the clamps. Uh, clamps do we ever talk about something that's not a reference to some other fucking show? I had an original thought that I was 12. <laughs> what are our original thoughts? I wish I had original thoughts. <laughs> but then again, you wouldn't be an artist if you did. It's all inspiration. Artist means you're just good at stealing. Shit. We weren't born in the 1800s. What do we need to be original for? Like it's literally no one says you can't go home. No, dude, don't try to play like you just ain't say that's your favorite song on <laughs> One thing I can't stand, country. Country music. I wanna go as far to say it's the worst genre of music. It is. <laughs> I was listening to opera before I was. Do opera? I'm not gonna play opera. I have some good stuff. Dude, you gotta go to a live opera. Change okay, lives. yeah, maybe a live opera. It is better live. It's not good, but it's better live. <laughs> <laughs> that I will agree with. It's all about the experience. Ain't nothing wrong with a little drip. One can have style, but style can never compare to the drip. If you know, you know. Clamped. How long do you leave this like this? Uh, I'm gonna leave it overnight. I should probably read the, the DP420. Hold on, yeah, let me. It says it'll dry at two hours um, at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So. At 73 degrees throughout the board, we're good. Dang, bro, you hella short. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm on a lighter. So the first five carbon roofs are up for pre-order on industrygarage.com. And this has been how you install a carbon fiber roof. Stay classy.